This is Matthew Monavon, a 5-star 99 overall receiver, and I'm putting him on one of the best teams in college football and playing his entire career out to see how a 99 overall receiver performs throughout their entire collegiate career. Matthew's first game as a freshman was against Hawaii on the road, and it didn't take long at all for him to record his first receiving touchdown. Just look at this great footwork in the back of the end zone. He was showing out in his first game and quickly becoming a favorite target of Caleb Williams, as throughout this game, those two would end up putting up monstrous numbers against Hawaii and they would walk away with a blowout victory to start the season. Matthew was already looking super comfortable in this offense and it was only his second game so far. So USC fans were definitely excited about what the future could hold with this young receiver. Once again, he had another great showing for the offense and would get his first win in front of the home crowd at the Coliseum. This was Matthew's first collegiate game in the rain and clearly the weather didn't seem to be affecting him at all. It was still raining in the fourth quarter but Matthew racked up his second touchdown reception and he would be just short of another one but this great reception would put him over 100 yards on the day as Matthew and the Trojans would remain undefeated. Things were not looking good in the fourth quarter here against the Sun Devils and things were just starting to get worse. The game would come down to this fourth and one. Caleb Williams would try to find Matthew but I don't know what type of throw that was from him. And so number five USC would end up losing to Arizona State. That unranked loss would knock Matthew and USC all the way down to number 11 and his quarterback Caleb Williams was completely out of the Heisman watch. Matthew and the Trojans were hoping things could change here back at home against the Wildcats, but it was still only 7 to nothing here as we were nearing the end of the first half. Things would change real quickly though as Matthew would get his first touchdown reception of the day, as that seemed to be the boost both Matthew and this USC offense needed today against Arizona, as they would end up dominating in the second half and would walk away with a huge victory to get back on track. This was Matthew's first big rivalry game against the Fighting Irish as a Trojan, and he wasted no time at all going going right to work against the Irish defense. The defense just didn't seem to be able to contain this freshman as he was going off in the first half. As Caleb Williams this game became the meme quarterback of fuck it. Matthew's down there somewhere. Matthew and the Trojans would roll to a 45 to 13 victory over the Irish. As halfway through the season, this true freshman was on a tear. Not only was Matthew leading his team both in receiving yards and receiving touchdowns, but he was also leading the nation in receiving yards, and with plays like this, that doesn't look like it's gonna change at all throughout the season. Matthew would end up snagging one more touchdown at the end of the third quarter, and I mean, just look at this amazing one-handed catch in traffic. He was clearly showing he was one of the best receivers in the country, and he was only a freshman. That was also a huge win because Matthew and the Trojans were back in the top five now, but they were gonna need some help from the undefeated teams ranked ahead of them to hopefully lose some games. All USC could do right now was just worry about winning out because if they wanted a chance to play in the national championship this season, they would have to continue this winning streak, win out the rest of the season, and win the Pac-12 Conference Championship. And so far, that looked like it was still on the table for them. USC was back in the top four, but everyone else above us was still undefeated so far. Thankfully our opponent in 4-5 and five Cal should be an easy win for the Trojans, as Matthew and the offense would strike first here in the game. To our surprise, Cal actually kept it somewhat close and competitive throughout the entire game, but thankfully the Trojans would hold on for the victory. Matthew and the Trojans were now on a 5 game winning streak and he was doing everything he could to make sure it improved to 6 games. Thankfully USC didn't have too many tough opponents left on their schedule this season, so hopefully they'd be able to keep this winning streak alive the rest of the season. That win finally bumped the Trojans up to number three in the country, but had to take on Deion Sanders in Colorado. The true freshman was going to work against Deion's secondary here this week, as by this point he had already racked up seven receptions alone in the first half. Colorado continued to fail to slow him down in the second half as well, as this touchdown to the freshman would put USC up by three possessions, and they would end up blowing out Deion Sanders and the Buffaloes. It was the last game of the regular season for Matthew and the Trojans, and things Things were not looking good to start this week. Thankfully though, the Trojans were only down by 7 and still in this game in the second quarter. But so far, Caleb Williams was only 6 for 17 and this interception was not helping things at all. No matter what this offense seemed to do, they just couldn't seem to tie it back up. But with just under 4 minutes to go in the game, this drive was starting to look promising. Finally, Caleb Williams would find the freshman and they'd tie the game up, but the kicker would miss the extra point. So now the offense had to drive all the way down the field, but Caleb 
Williams would find the true freshman, and with no one in front of him, he'd take it into the end zone. But of course, we wouldn't be able to get the two-point conversion, and so UCLA would go down and score a touchdown. So the offense would have to come up with a huge drive yet again, and Matthew is wide open inside the 15. With one timeout, that at least put us in field goal range, but Matthew said, let me get a touchdown. The true freshman would score the game-winning touchdown, and rightfully so would be given player of the game honors. If Matthew and the Trojans won the conference championship game today, they'd be in the national championship. And it looked like it was going to be a tight one here against Oregon tonight. Things weren't looking too good for the Trojans, though, as they were down by 11 in the fourth. But Matthew would end up getting it down to only a four-point game. And after a Bo Nix interception, we had a chance to take the lead, but Caleb Williams would throw an interception. Bo Nix would throw yet another interception, and now Caleb Williams would throw a touchdown to Matthew. And after getting a huge goal line stop, USC would kneel the clock out, and Matthew would won the Pac-12 championship his freshman year. And somehow, out of nowhere, Matthew would end up winning the Heisman as a freshman. He wasn't even on the list headed into the conference championship week, but I'm sure he wouldn't complain as he was playing for a national championship now as well. The Georgians were down seven early, but the Heisman winning receiver Matthew Monavon would change that real quick. The freshman would tie it up once again here right before halftime. And then his performance would continue by giving the Trojans their first lead of the day. The Heisman winner just couldn't seem to be stopped at all this game by the Sooners defense. But of course the defense couldn't get a minute stop against the Sooners offense, so we're in overtime now. But of course their defense would be able to get a stop as Caleb Williams would throw an interception at the goal line here. And Oklahoma would score a touchdown to win the national championship in overtime. Matthew set many records this year, including receiving yards, receiving touchdowns, and total receptions. Matthew finished his freshman year with 129 receptions, 2,113 yards, and 32 touchdowns. It was the start of Matthew's sophomore season now, and he only had one thing on his mind this year. And that one thing was winning a national championship this year with his team. And with them being ranked number three to start the season, they had a chance to be in contention all season long. Matthew and the Trojans would look great in the first game here of his sophomore season. And they were already ranked number one in the country because of that. Matthew and his quarterback, Caleb Williams, are both on the Heisman watch to start the season this year. And if he wanted to win the Heisman for a second year in a row, he couldn't be dropping touchdown passes like this. His team also couldn't afford to play down to their opponents like they were doing today. But thankfully, they would hold on throughout the fourth quarter, and they would get a three-point victory over Boston College. The next week didn't start off well at all as Matthew would go out with an injury in the first quarter, and he wouldn't return until the fourth quarter, but when he did, he came in and made a difference right away for the Trojans. His first drive back, he found the end zone for the Trojans, as they would walk away with a 17-point victory on the road. Despite missing almost all of last game, Matthew was still on top of the Heisman list by this week, and he was doing his best this week to make sure the list stayed that way. Despite his performance, USC was still losing, and inter interceptions like this weren't gonna help. And with only 24 seconds left and no timeouts, things weren't looking great for the Trojans, but Matthew would break one tackle here. He only had one man to beat. Could he beat him? No, he wouldn't. And so this would be the last play of the game. Caleb Williams tries to find Matthew, and he's gonna throw an interception. And Oregon State might have just ended their season. The Trojans were coming off a tough loss last week, and Matthew wanted to make sure that didn't happen again this week. He got off to a quick start for the Trojans with two touchdowns in the first half. Despite his performance though, USC was once again falling behind. On top of the turnovers, Caleb Williams' clock management was horrible and it would end up costing them at the end of this game and they would end up losing yet another game to an unranked team. USC's national championship hopes have gone out the window now with two losses in a row and there was another chance that it could be three losses in a row for the Trojans today against Arizona State. Thankfully, the offense would come to life in the second half against the Sun Devils this week and they would manage to get back in the win column. The offense has clearly been struggling this year, and Matthew was starting to get a little frustrated with it. It had even gotten to the point where he was already thinking about transferring next season. And the way this game was going so far, it wasn't changing his mind. After dropping their third game of the season already, Matthew knew his time was up here after this season. Now that Matthew had made up his mind that he was going to transfer this offseason, there was only one thing left for him to do this year, and that was to go out and play lights out the rest of the season for the Trojans. In doing so, hopefully a team that was a national championship contender headed in the next season would have him join their team. And despite not being in the Heisman watch anymore, Matthew was still putting up monster numbers. With only four games left in the season, Matthew was looking to continue his dominant play, and his team was looking to become bowl eligible in their matchup today against Arizona. He was off to a hot start as well as the team, which was definitely a good sign to see for them. But despite the team playing really well today, that still hadn't changed his mind about transferring. Ultimately, USC would end up winning today, and they would be headed into their next game against Stanford on the road. Matthew knew that his team was out of national championship
championship contention already this season, but that doesn't mean they weren't trying to get themselves into a good bowl game. If they wanted to find themselves in a good bowl game at the end of the season, they were going to have to keep on winning like they did tonight against Stanford. UCLA seemed to be giving the offense trouble early on as Caleb Williams would throw yet another interception, as he has definitely regressed from last season, and Matthew's kind of gotten frustrated with the way he's played. Less than 30 seconds to go in the first half, and USC was losing to UCLA here. And on that last play, Matthew would go down with an injury and would be out for the rest of the game. Thankfully, his team would bounce back and secure the win, and headed into next week, he was off the injury list. This was the final regular season game for USC this season against Notre Dame, and it would be the last game at the Coliseum here for Matthew as well, so he needed to show out for the fans. USC's offense seemed to be doing a good job so far against Notre Dame in this game, and Matthew would end up racking up multiple touchdowns against the Fighting Irish, as they would close out their regular season with a win. Despite finishing 9-3, it wasn't good enough to make it to the Pac-12 championship, and they didn't even get that great of a bowl game. Matthew wasn't going to let the bowl game, though, deter him from putting on a performance, as this would be his final game with USC. He was 100% confident that he was going to transfer this offseason, so he wanted to leave Trojan fans with great memories of him on the field for them, as he would end up winning his last game as a USC Trojan. Matthew would break two school records in receiving yards for a career and receiving touchdowns in a career. And with a lot of the team leaving for graduation or draft, it was time to find out where Matthew would transfer to, and he would surprise the nation by deciding to transfer within the conference to play for Oregon. It was time for Matthew's first game with Oregon, and he was making an impact right away. Unfortunately, that impact wouldn't last long, as he would come down to this reception in the second quarter, and would end up going down with an injury. Matthew would end up missing the rest of the game with back spasms, and without their star receiver, Oregon would drop the first game of the season to Michigan State. And so now Matthew had to make sure his team could win this next game as they opened up conference play at home against Cal. Matthew was still looking for his first touchdown as a duck and he would get it here. But unfortunately, they were still losing here in the fourth quarter against Cal, but he would make sure he would change that as he would get his second touchdown of the day. And all they would need here would be a first down to seal the game and Matthew would pick it up for the Ducks as they would walk away with the victory in their home opener and Matthew would earn player of the game honors. Matthew and the Ducks were back on the road and had what should be an easy matchup against bottom tier conference team Stanford. Surprisingly though, they were down by seven in the second quarter and crazy interceptions like this weren't helping their cause. I mean, just look at this. The defender pulls it right out of Matthew's hands from him. Very uncharacteristic to see from him, but Matthew would go right back to work for the Ducks offense to make up for it. As on first and 10, he would find the end zone for the Ducks to make it only a three point game headed into half. One more touchdown from him in the red zone would give them their first lead and they would hold on to it for the win against Stanford this week. Matthew didn't want another slow start this week, so he went to work right away with a touchdown against Georgia State on his first reception. The offense was putting up big numbers in the first half against the Panthers here at home, and even though Matthew and the starters would get pulled after the third quarter of play because of the score, the backups would hold on for the blowout win. This number 10 versus number 9 matchup would be a good one this week, and Ole Miss's defense had done a good job so far of slowing down Matthew and the offense. It was nearing the end of the first half, and they still had not put up any points on the board yet today. Thankfully, Matthew would change that here, though, just before halftime, but they were now down once again in the fourth quarter, and look at this crazy interception. I couldn't believe this happened. The defender literally reached through Matthew's helmet and body to take the ball away from him, and as a result, Oregon would drop their second game of the season. That loss seemed to stick with the Ducks the following week as they were losing to Colorado, and Matthew would drop this big pass on fourth down late in the fourth quarter, and they would end up losing yet another game. This was an important matchup for Matthew this week as they were going up against his former team, and he came right out of the gate swinging against the Trojans' defense today. By the end of the first quarter, he already had two touchdown receptions, but decided that wasn't enough and really wanted to make his former team pay for the way his career ended with them last season. He would end up putting up four touchdowns on USC this game, and his team would win in a blowout fashion. That win would follow them into next week with another blowout win on the road, this time against Arizona State, but would then be on the opposite side of a blowout against number 15 Utah at home. With only five wins on the season, the Ducks still needed one more win to become bowl eligible this year, and Matthew would make that happen with a game-winning touchdown this week against Washington State. He then had a chance to follow that up next week with an upset over number one Washington on the road, but a poor decision from his quarterback would end their chances of an upset, and Washington would barely get the win at home. Matthew would close out his season on a high note with a win in the Civil War matchup, and after winning the Belindikoff Award this year, his team would finish 7-5, and five, and he would help lead them to a bowl victory in his final game against number 22 Virginia Tech. After posting 1,474 receiving yards and 19 touchdowns this season, Matthew would declare for the NFL Draft, and it was no surprise that he was taken in the first round.